In this video, I'll show you how to test a Mercedes throttle position sensor, which is called throttle valve actuator in width. And please get your hand on this because it is a workshop information system of Mercedes. It combines all the things that you will need in order to pinpointing the exact diagnostic for your Mercedes vehicles. They have all the wide ring diagram, two components functions, its locations, and many things else. Now we will take a look at our throttle position sensor wide ring diagram. As we can see, M16 flash 6 is our throttle sensor. It has six wires, two for the motor, one for ground, one for power supply, and two wires for two signals. Let's have a closer look into this diagram. You can see wire number one and wire number two are for the motor. So we don't need to pay attention to them in this test. In addition, you will also see number four and six, which are ground and power respectively. And the last but most important thing are the two signals that we need to measure. You can see they are numbered at three and five. Now come the important measuring order, which you have to pay attention closely. We will exclude pin number one and two, which are wired to the motor. After that exclusion, first thing first, turn your key on or press the start button one time without starting the engine. Then we will measure ground with the key off. You will need to wait two to three minutes for the CAN network to go to sleep. And the two remaining wire will be the signal wire. You can see the pin number written on the connector exactly according to the wiring diagram. Now, turn your key on or press the start stop button one time without starting the engine. For the multimeter, remember to choose 12 to 4 on your DC voltage scale. Now, as you can see, when I measure pin number 4, it indicates 5 volt, which is the power supply to this sensor. Now, we will find the ground wire using continuity on your multimeter. Remember to have your key off and then wait 2 to 3 minutes for the CAN network to go to sleep. As you can see, when it measures pin number 6, it gives me continuity, which indicates that this is the ground that we're looking for. Moving on to the two signal wires, we know that they are pin number 3 and 5, so I'll test them respectively to see what they will give me. As we can see, number 3 gives me 0 volt, but pin number 5 gives me almost 5 volt, 4.9 to be exact to explain the difference between the two signals. I'll give you a bit of theory behind this. On the graph, we have voltage for the y-axis and open percentage for the x-axis. These two signals are in the opposite direction, which form an inverse graph. At the 0% throttle position, which is the closed position, signal 1 will be 0 voltage and signal 2 will be 5 voltage. At the 100% throttle position, which is the full open position, things are complete opposite. 5 voltage for signal 1 and 0 voltage for signal 2. So that explains why we have 0 voltage for pin number 3 and almost 5 voltage for pin number 5 at a fully closed position. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you can now measure your throttle position sensor to figure out whether you have a failing sensor or not.